hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we will be uh, resolving or solving a simple project on imdb data analysis okay so uh, some of them suggested like uh, to do this project so i will be solving few questions like it may cover everything or some questions may be skipped because uh, uh, whatever i could do i have done here okay so basically uh, here is the uh, database that is imdb movies and here you can see the columns okay so what are the columns here that is color director name num critic for reviews then duration then director facebook likes actor 3 facebook likes actor 2 name actor 1 facebook likes gross jenner then actor one name movie title number voted users etc okay so there are many columns here okay and if i select everything from here uh, there are around how many records here okay it's not showing let's see whether we can get it okay uh that's not a problem but yeah there are many records here okay so there are few questions we need to solve basically based on the imdb data analysis project okay so based on those questions we will try to solve uh, the questions okay sorry problems so uh, first question is find the movies with the highest profit okay so first of all we need to select the movie title here then director name it's optional okay and gross is the uh, uh budget sorry you can say some of the price which is related to this and also the budget okay so we are getting the profit by using gross minus budget and we are renaming it as profit okay so we are selecting the imdb movies table right so where budget is greater than uh, zero so uh, this uh, data whatever i have it is not cleaned okay so some answers may mismatch but this query will give you the good one like the correct answer okay you need not worry about that so we will uh, order by profit in descending order that is from big to small and we will limit it by 10 so we will get 10 records uh, with highest profit okay that is avatar has the highest profit ever made so i cannot see this number because it is too big okay and the uh, last one is deadpool that is the least okay so according to my data okay so it might differ at some extent but yeah this query will uh, give the proper answer okay so basically we are selecting movie title director name gross budget and we are uh, getting profit by using gross minus budget and budget is greater than zero okay and we are descending like getting the profit in the descending order okay so if i remove the limit then we'll get everything okay so this is the first question Second question is uh, find the IMDb top 250 and top non English movies. Okay, so uh, 250 movies which are in English language and top non English movies. Okay, so based on we will use the column IMDb score, uh, which basically gives us the idea of how the movie was. Okay, so here I am selecting row number over IMDb score. Okay, like I am ordering IMDb score in descending order and I am giving uh, that. Uh, as a row number for whatever IMDb score is the highest okay and I am renaming it as rank number then I am selecting movie title language and IMDb score okay and I am limiting it to 250 that is 250 records I am getting so basically rank number is nothing but this is the row number you can also use rank and dense rank which may differ slightly because they repeat like if uh, the occurrence of uh imdb score is same then the rank number repeats uh, if you use rank and dense rank so i i don't want it that so i use directly the row number which will fetch me like 250 records here as you can see okay so based on this record the dark knight has the highest imdb score that is nine okay now if i want to select a uh, non english movies uh, the same query will give you the non uh, english movies just we need to specify where condition where language is not in english okay limit 250 is optional because uh, there are not many movies available but yeah if you give it not the problem okay 
so this is i don't know what it is but the second movie is bahubali in the beginning uh, it is in telugu okay so as you can see the languages are not in english here there are other than english okay so there are 29 movies which are not in english language okay so this is the third query like second and second sub query okay so the next question is find the best director so here also we can use uh, the average of imdb score okay and based on that we can get the director name so query is simple we are selecting director name and we are rounding the average of imdb score to two decimal digits as average imdb score from imdb movies and we are grouping it by director name because uh, some movies might be uh, created by same director right so that is why we are getting the average okay and then we are ordering it by average imdb score in descending and we are limiting it to 10 okay so we'll get uh, 10 best directors so christopher nolan is the first which has the average imdb score of 8.41 okay according to my data okay i am like stressing on it because my data is jumbled up or you can say it is not clean okay so that is why i am doing this so uh, because first uh, in this project we had to clean the data which i have not done i have just taken the queries uh, from the google and just pasted it to create the uh, database or you can say the tables and rows and then i am performing on it the operations or query the sql queries you can say okay that is why you may get some different answers that's the problem okay so these are the best directors okay now Uh, to find the best actor there was a question which says that we had to include uh, the meryl streep leonardo dicaprio and brad pitt and we had to uh, get the best actor based on a uh, number of critic reviews and a uh, number of user view reviews okay so this user reviews is the audience favorite and this critic reviews is critic favorite okay so based on that we had to get the uh, actor and we had to like select only one actor like based on actor one name we had to select okay so we are selecting actor one name and we are rounding the average of uh, num critic values as critic favorite and uh, average of num uh, user for reviews as audience favorite from imdb movies where actor one name is in this okay so and after that we are grouping it by actor one name so this query will fetch us the following records so leonardo dicaprio brad pitt and meryl streep so critic favorite is this and audience favorite is this okay so this is data uh, there is another query here which i have tried basically so which will give us act 1 act 2 act 3 name because here uh, it it is act 2 name act 1 name like that right so i tried this also you can also include this if you want in your uh, submission okay so this will give us act like it will group Uh, the main reviews based on actor 1 actor 2 and actor 3 that is by grouping these three actors we will get the average of highest reviews like that okay uh, like average reviews based on these not the highest just the average okay so i am selecting actor 1 actor 2 actor 3 and average of num critic views plus average of num user for reviews i am combining both these reviews as mean reviews and then i am getting it uh, grouping it by actor 1 actor 2 and actor 3 and ordering by mean reviews descending order okay yeah it is in descending order okay sorry so i am limiting it to 10 okay so based on this we will get the following result so basically christian bale or yeah keanu reeves is the best one yeah, as you can see he like, uh boogie man yeah you if you remember john wick right uh, so this is the one so he has also good reviews based on his movies okay so uh, last one is yeah so the last question is uh, find the number of user votes per decade okay so uh, for this what we have done here is we have concatenated uh, this yes to the decade year okay uh, so basically we are converting title year into a decade and we are renaming it as decade using this formula that is title year by 10 into 10 which will convert uh, uh, like we will get the result in the form of decades after 10 years 10 years 10 years like that okay and then we are getting the number of uh, like votes in the form of sum that means uh, in the range of 1 to 10 years uh, every vote is calculated okay that is summed up 
as total votes from IMDb movies then we are grouping it by decade and order by decade okay so if I do this we will get this so in 1940 there are total votes is 9360 and 1960 like that okay 60 70 80 90 2000 okay like that so basically here is the thing how we are converting here is uh, yeah here's the explanation so if a movie title has year 1995 then how it is converted see 1995 by 10 it will give you like 199.5 that is 199 right and then uh, this expression uh, where it is okay let's take it down comment it space now this uh, expression is converted into uh, like decayed in the form of like for the 199 into 10 that is 1990 like that okay so this is how the year is converted into a decade that is it belongs to 1990s okay so in this way this formula helps us to get the total number of uh, votes in the uh, given decade okay so that is how we get this query so these were simple five questions uh, which were meant to be done uh, in case of the data analysis of IMDB data analysis there are uh, many other questions also you can explore them out okay so try this out and explore it okay and if you come with with uh, come up with any simple query uh, like you can optimize this queries then you can just comment it out okay so that also i can learn with you okay so hope this helps so if you learned something from this video do hit the subscribe button until then take care bye bye